A takedown caught on his own dash camera has a West Valley police officer in trouble, and he's now facing a civil rights lawsuit. ABC4's Brent Hunsaker joins us with the video and the story. It's new tonight at 10, Brent. Yeah, the incident happened last summer. Now, 25-year-old uh, Cesar Medina says that for several blocks here in this neighborhood, there was a West Valley police officer following him closely. No lights, no sirens, just following him. And when he pulled into this driveway, the driveway of his uh, girlfriend, he says the officer was still behind him. It takes just 11 seconds from the time the patrol car's lights start flashing, triggering this recording, to this. With amazing speed, the officer grabs Cesar Medina and slams him to the ground. The only reason you can use force in effecting an, an arrest is if the suspect is somehow a threat, he's armed, he's fleeing. But Medina says he was doing none of that and officer Jared Carden orders him back into the truck but gives him little chance to comply. He grabbed me over the shoulder, lifted me up and threw me over his shoulder to the ground. I couldn't use my hands. I couldn't put my hands to, to absorb the impact on the ground so I landed on my face on the ground. At that moment I was, I was in a lot of pain. And in a few seconds, Medina says he's in a lot more pain. At the bottom of the screen, Officer Carden has his knee in his back applying the handcuffs. Medina says at this point, he still has no idea what he did wrong or why he's being cuffed. I felt powerless. And then, after he was in handcuffs in the police car, he illegally searched Caesar's car. Later, Cesar Medina would be charged with speeding, running a stop sign, and resisting arrest. Ironically, he was never arrested. No, they didn't take me into custody. This is totally uh, excessive, an unjustified use of force. There was no justification for it. Now, Medina says he didn't like it, but eventually he did agree to a plea deal. He paid for the speeding ticket and everything else was dismissed. He is now suing, alleging not only excessive force, but also unlawful search and detention and malicious prosecution. Basically, he's charging that the officers made up the charges against him. Now, I did talk with a spokesman for West Valley Police Department this afternoon. says they haven't seen this lawsuit yet and therefore cannot comment. Live in West Valley, Brent Hunsaker, ABC4 News. All right, Brent, we'll keep watching this one. It